Hey everybody, I'm doing a quick Target Dollar Spot haul today. Um, I have not been to the Target Dollar Spot in quite a while. So, um, yeah, basically I found a bunch of stuff that I didn't know was there and I'm super excited to share it with you. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I apologize about the ruffling. Okay, so this is not going to be in any really organized order, but I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So, let's see if I can get this zoomed. Okay. So first I got these cute little note card set. And it's basically mini note cards. I think it'd make really cute pocket letters or just notes in general. You got the little doggy that says wolf. I want to go back in. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, this one says best friends forever. Cute, cute, cute. And my favorite is Little Kitty Cat. It says hello with the princess crown. Yes. That's the main reason I got that one. Anyway. That, as you can see, that one's a little hard to open. 15 envelopes and 15 cards come in that set. And then I got... This is just... I know it's probably not worth a, do a dollar, but it's adorable. It's another Kitty Perfect Ideas um, page flags. And really, it's just... These are the page flags, I'm assuming, and nothing else. But, come on. It's a cute little kitty cat, and we all know I'm obsessed with cats. Cats and pugs are my thing. Oh, and pandas, and... I don't know. Everything. Okay, so, I didn't think I was going to pick this sticker book up, but I decided to anyway, because it's such a large amount. 255 stickers. And I'll just do a quick um, little flip through for you. This is my favorite page. It's got the unicorns and the clouds. Um, this just says Monday, Tuesday. It looks like it would make a cute little planner kind of thing. Um, oh, it's trying to zoom in on the wrong thing here. Sorry, guys. So, yeah. Pretty much silly little stickers. Once in a melon. I really like these letters. It'll come in handy for planning. That cute kitty again. And that's pretty much it. This was the very last thing I bought, decided to buy or pick out. It's kind of like an impulse buy. I'm really into stamping, but um, I've never had a lot of luck with stamps like this. But I thought it was cute because it had the kitty and the paw stamps. That was also, oh, sorry, that was three dollars. I knew that. And then this cute little notepad set, I think will be really fun. I think this would be great for any kids to just color in. And pa, and this was a dollar. You get 20 sheets each of that. So this I almost got two of, and I decided not to because I have too many stickers as it is. But I really like the stickers, and I kind of wanted two of each, but I decided not to. Like, look at this bicycle, you guys. And then the kitty cat with the glasses. I love kitty cats with glasses. Rainbows are my thing. I love, I just, everything about this. <laughs> it's so cute. I mean, the only sticker I probably don't like, and no offense to anyone who likes this one, is this free spirit one. I don't know, the color's just weird, but yeah. So this one was also a dollar. And of course I got more stamps because, you know, I need more stamps. Um, this one says, so, the glare is probably really bad, you guys, I know. I'm trying to get good lighting, but you never know. Okay, so this one says, so very important. It has a little banner, which I don't have one of these. Done, yes, and then the list. I have one of these already, but I thought, eh, I'll try it again. And then another ink pad, which I could always use some more ink pads. Um, and then these, I saw last time I was at the Target Dollar Spot, just browsing really fast. And I don't know, I was just really drawn to the adorable um, watermelons. Not sure why, but I got them. And they were a dollar. They're just super, super kawaii. And then here's the first thing I picked up when I walked in. Thought it was really cute because it has this banner on it and it's just striped rainbow and I love rainbow stuff 
Again, it's a magnetic one, and it's a dollar. Okay, and then this I picked up. It's not on straight, but I'm assuming I can clip it on straight. I just got it mainly because I really like this kitty cat on here, of course. Like I mentioned before, it has 80 sheets. Um, and it just says clipboard and notepad set. Um, it's kind of kiddish, and I'm not a big fan of this notes part, but I really love clipboards, and I don't have a little one like this, so I do think I will use this. And with that said, I did also pick up the Magical Unicorn. Yeah, I know. It's adorable, isn't it? Come on. Everybody loves unicorns. I'm obsessed with them, and I am happy that they are coming back in style. And the background on this one is really cute. It's got little hearts and stars. So, my favorite pickups were these two things here. Um, this I just thought, thought was super unique. It's another one of those pens that I think is supposed to be erasable. Now I know I tried this last time where I tried it for you guys. Let me do it real quick. If you don't want to see how the pen works, just fast forward the video. Um, and why do they make this notepad impossible to open up? What? Come on, people. <laughs> so let's just take this notepad here. Let's open this pen. Sorry, I know the crinkling is probably really obnoxious, but look how cute this pencil looks. And it's a pen, and I don't really know how it works yet, but we'll figure it out. Do I push? Oh yeah, okay. So it looks like you just push here like a normal pen. And it looks like you can write. It is pink ink. Can you guys see it? I don't know how. And let's see if it erases. <sighs> kind of disappointing, you guys. You know, I've been on the hunt for <laughs> an erasable pen, and it is not erasable. But it's still, like, super adorable. Come on. You have to admit. It's a pen that looks like a pencil. Okay, and then I picked up these two things. I got this cute little kitty cat pencil pouch, which I use for more than just pencils. I use these for a lot of different things. probably own too many of them, but who could say no to this? This was $3. They had other, like, pouches there, too, that look like, um, gym bags, almost. Kind of cute. Okay, and then to go with the, um, unicorn theme, I got the unicorn sticky notepad set. I really love the follow your dreams, um, and the star in the rainbow. Unicorn itself, not a big fan, but like I said, I think that'd be really cute for a kid to color in or something if they were bored. But yeah. Um, and then, oh, this is one that's not new or too exciting, but I've been looking for these everywhere and I finally found them. So I wanted to use these for a craft and you get 20 of them, so I'm super excited that they had them stocked. Then, of course, more sticky notes because I need them. <laughs> And this one says, now and later. And I just thought it was a really cute color scheme going on there. So, yeah. And then the last thing I got is fairly um, large. And this I got sort of as a joke because my husband likes to say the word totes. And I tease him that it's just something a guy shouldn't say. Which I don't really agree with. I think anyone can say the word totes if they want to. I just think it sounds silly when he says it. So, um... There's this bag that said totes, and it has, like, all these neon things on it, and it's a tote.